equation in one variable. In this session, we will see some common misconceptions related to linear equations in one variable. Look at this equation. We have learned that this is called a linear equation in one variable. Why? Because, first of all, it has only one variable. And second, the highest power of the variable is 1. Now look at both these equations. Do you think that these two are linear equations in one variable? No. Only the first equation is a linear equation in one variable because its highest power is 1. But as you can see in the second equation, the variable appears twice. And both times, its power is 1. Then why is the second equation not a linear equation? Let's find out. An important aspect of this equation is that x in the equation is multiplied by 5x. So, the term related to x in this equation will be a product of 5, x and x. Here we see that two terms with base x are being multiplied. Therefore, their individual powers will be added and the last term will be 5x square. As you can see, the power of x is 2. As per the definition of linear equation, the second equation cannot be considered a linear equation. Therefore, the second equation is not a linear equation in one variable. Let us take another example. Observe these equations carefully. Can you find which of these equations are linear equations in one variable? The first and third are definitely linear equations in one variable. But what about the second equation? There is some confusion in the second equation because the variable in this equation is to the right of the equality sign but this is also a linear equation with one variable. Can you tell why? In any equation, the position of the variable does not matter. The equation only tells us that the value of the expression on the left will be equal to the value of the expression on the right. So, in a linear equation with one variable, the variable can be present on either side of the equation. Let's end this session. In this session, we saw some common misconceptions related to linear equations in one variable. In the next video, we will learn how to solve a linear equation in one variable.